Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to another quick Flutter tutorial. The widget of the day is called Animated Icon. This is a really simple to use widget that makes your app feel much more alive. So let me show you how to implement this by jumping into the code. So I've got here in my main function running my app, which is running my homepage, which is a stateful widget. And I've just got here a blank scaffold. So I wrote some comments here detailing the steps that we need to take to create this animated icon. But first of all, in the body of the scaffold, let's create in the middle the animated icon. And you can see, first of all, it's got a red squiggle underneath. So if we hover over it, looks like we need to specify two things. So progress and icon. Let's start with the icon. And in the list of animated icons, you can see here there's quite a few that you can choose from. But let's start with the play pause one. And in the progress, so this is where we're going to control the animation. So let's come up to the top and create this animation controller. And since we haven't initialized it, let's put a late tag on this. And let's initialize it in our init state. Now, when you're using any sort of animations in your Flutter project, we have to add this bit of code to your state up here. And then in our animation controller, we can specify the duration for how long you want this animation to be. So let's just say one second. And if I save this, there's our play button, but it looks very tiny. So let's change the size and let's increase it to 150. Now, if I click on this, nothing's happening. So let's wrap this icon in a gesture detector, which I covered in a previous video. So check that out if you need. But essentially, this allows us to have a on tap function. And so if the user taps this icon, then we can get this controller to move forward. So now if I save this and I tap on the play button, you can see it animating itself to the pause button. But as of now, if you click on it again, it's not going to return back to the play button. So that's where these controllers come in handy. So we have it as forward right now. And we also have the option to reverse the animation. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a separate method. Let's call it icon tapped to sort all this out. So let's create a if else statement covering the two situations. So that means I'm going to have to create a Boolean, which just means it's a true or false value. So since we're using play and pause buttons, let's just give the name of the Boolean to be video playing. So if the video playing is false initially, then if the user taps the icon, let's move the animation forward and set the video playing to be true. Else, let's reverse the animation and also set the video playing back to false. So if I save this, hopefully this should work. And there it is. So you can now click forward and click backwards. And that's how easy it is to implement the animated icon. So you can see here, once we've set it all up, you can actually go through the list of animated icons to see which one you want to use. So let's select another random one. This one's pretty cool. And I think this one's pretty useful as well, the close menu. You can have this in the corner of your screen. So yeah, there's just a bunch of options here for you to play around with. So hopefully that was helpful and easy to understand. Play around with it. And if you have any questions, just let me know. But other than that, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Laters.